Hi, Farmer Brian here, and I'm at the North Rim of the Grand Canyon, and I want to share some fascinating prehistorical agriculture with you. A group of Anasazi people lived here 900 years ago, and archaeologists have discovered that these Anasazi were farming this area. During most of the year, they lived down there, in the very bottom of the canyon, growing Las Tres Hermanas, the Three Sisters, which are corn, beans, and squash. Can you see the Colorado River in the very bottom? The Anasazi changed their environment down there to meet their needs by creating irrigation ditches and terraces, which are like big steps of land, so they could bring water to their crops in the middle of this very, very dry desert environment. Now, summer temperatures down there are too hot, so the Anasazi would walk for two days up the canyon to the top where I'm standing. They spent their summers here in the high, cooler forest, hunting deer and other animals, and gathering berries, plants, and nuts. Archaeologists have found hundreds of ruins and many, many artifacts on the canyon's rim in this forest. These buildings, tools, and other things were left behind by the Anasazi. Just a short walk into the forest down this path, we find a small building with a couple rooms that were used for shelter to sleep in and storage for food and tools. All that is left are the rocks that used to make up part of the walls. You can see archaeologists are still working here to learn more about the Anasazi by digging up what was left behind. See them working there in the shade? When the season changed to fall and the trees lost their leaves, the Anasazi knew that winter snow would come soon. They packed up and hiked back down the canyon and started to plant the corn, beans, and squash seeds in their fields way down there by the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon, repeating their yearly cycle of farming. Can you think of some things that we do in your school garden that are similar to what the Anasazi used to do? I'm glad I could share this with you. Bye-bye.